In 2016, astronomers discovered a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to Earth. Suddenly, the prospect of extraterrestrial life in our immediate neighborhood became a tantalizing possibility. At 4.2 light years away, it would be close enough to communicate with, albeit with long delays, but would we ever be able to travel to our nearest star? Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri system, and although it is our closest neighbor, it is still over 40 trillion kilometers away from Earth. That means that if it was heading in the right direction, it would take the Voyager 1 spacecraft about 75,000 years to reach it. But what if we could go really, really fast? The Breakthrough Starship project aims to build a fleet of ultralight miniature space probes attached to light sails and to accelerate them to 20% of the speed of light. That's about 3,500 times faster than Voyager 1. The probe will, will be launched on a mission to Alpha Centauri. Is this idea science fiction or is it really possible? I'm Martin de Sterke. And I'm Mohamed Rafat. And we are working on this grand challenge problem at the University of Sydney. Our aim is to design a sail and model its dynamics to ensure that it will be stable and that it remains intact under acceleration by the radiation pressure of a huge ground-based laser. If you go out at night and look towards the Southern Cross, Alpha Centauri is the brightest of the two pointer stars, the one furthest from the cross. The Alpha Centauri system has three stars. Two of these stars, Alpha Cent A and B, are quite similar to our own sun. The third member of the system, Proxima Centauri, is a cool dwarf star that hosts at least one exoplanet. This planet, Proxima Centauri b, is a rocky planet in the habitable zone, the region which could possibly have liquid water on the planet's surface and could hence support life. However, there is a catch. Proxima Centauri is known to produce massive flares, thousands of times more powerful than the sun. But putting aside whether the system is a good place to live, the attraction of sending probes there is that we can search for life directly. The basic idea is that powerful lasers will impart momentum to the sail, causing it to accelerate. Light can impart momentum when it is reflected or absorbed. On Earth, a collection of smaller lasers are placed next to each other, form forming an array, and they are focused on the light sail. The diameter of this array will need to be close to a kilometer. The lasers are set up to emit in phase so that they interfere constructively. A key problem is how can we accelerate a nanocraft to 20% of the speed of light? There are many other problems we have to solve. We need to make sure that a sail only a few hundred atoms thick is mechanically strong enough and can travel in straight lines. Then we have to make sure the sail does not heat up too much and melts. And finally, we need to work out how to construct a sufficiently large laser to accelerate the sail. If, and it is a big if, all of these challenges can be solved, we have to work out how to get a one gram payload to send information back to Earth. Getting to Alpha Centauri is the biggest mission humans have ever embarked on. Every aspect of the mission requires a breakthrough in physics, engineering, or technology. But understanding of mechanics and dynamics from first year physics allows us to take the first steps on this journey.